Hi guys, it's Tony. Welcome to today's video where we are going to create a few different types of interactive buttons in Framer. Let's start with this simple button that expands while hovering. First, let's add a text that says button and then we want to make a stack out of it. Let's rename the stack to be a button and then let's modify some parameters. Let's start by adding some padding and to give it a nice balanced feel, let's give it a bit more padding to right and left side compared to top and bottom. Then we can give it either a stroke or fill depending on what you want to do and increase the radius a bit to give it a rounded corners. And now if you change the text inside it, you can see that it's nice and responsive, so it adapts to the size of the text. But if you go to preview it, we can see that it, nothing actually happens yet, so it feels a bit dead at the moment. So first, let's make sure that we include a link inside the button. In this case, we can connect it to be the home page of this project. And now you can't see it in this prototype, but actually it changes the mouse cursor to change in this hand, which indicates that there is a link inside this button. But still, we want to make it a bit more interactive. So let's go back and go to the FX menu and add a hover state. And you can play around with the values here, but for this project, let's give it a scale of 1.05 to give it a subtle interaction when you are hovering it. And then you can easily change the colors or whatever you want to do. But as you can see, we have a nicely working button here. So each time you're hovering it, it will basically expand a bit and make it feel like a bit more tappable. Our next button will change the color when you're hovering it. This is quite easy to do, but requires a bit more fine tuning to make it actually work. So let's start. First, let's create a text that says button and let's create a stack of it. And again, let's give it a bit of padding and let's add a border or fill, whatever you want to do, and then increase the radius. Then let's select the button and create a component of it. We can call this color change button or whatever you want to use for it. If you select the text inside the button here, you can notice that it's a variable, which means you can edit the content of it in the canvas when you're building the site. But what we want to do now is to create a hover state, which you can do by pressing the plus icon below your variant one. Then we can just easily change the feel of the button and change the text color also to match the background of our page. So now when we preview the component, we can see that it's actually working quite nicely already. So now we want to make sure that it includes a link. So let's go to the top right corner and add a link and let's make it a variable again. So you can edit each time to match the unique needs of this button. Now, when we go back to the page, we can actually notice that we can change the content and the link each time uniquely to match the needs of the specific button. But that was our second button. And now when we know how to do this, we can proceed into the next one, which is a bit more advanced one. So in this button, we will actually reveal this arrow when you're hovering the button. So let's again start by writing down button. And now we can go to hero icons or whatever icon you want to use and select the icon for the arrow and just copy paste it into the page. You can easily modify the color of the arrow by double pressing it and just changing the color. Now we want to select both the arrow and the text and create a stack out of them. Then let's create a new component, which we can call arrow button or whatever you want to use here. And again, once the component is created, let's again select the button and the arrow and create a new stack of them. 
make sure that the width and height are set to be fit content. And then select the whole component and add a fill into it and let's again add a padding here. And then let's give it some radius again to make it look a bit more nicer. And now you can see that we have basically this stack inside the button which has the text element and the arrow element inside it. But then again, let's create a new hover state for it. And then we want to make sure that the arrow in the variant 1 is transparent. And then in the hover state, let's make it visible again. Now you can see that there's this huge space on the right hand side of the button. So let's remove it by removing the padding on the right hand side. And also let's modify the left hand side padding a bit so that the button is center aligned. And then again, let's add a padding back to the hover state. So now when you're hovering the button, the arrow becomes visible. And let's preview it and we can see that it's working now. We can make the top and bottom padding a bit smaller so it doesn't look as thick as it looks now. And also, as you notice, if you make changes to the main variant, it will automatically update the rest of the variants as well. And again, let's add a link here. And you can play around with the parameters here again, but I would suggest you to use these. And now when we go back to our main page, you can modify the button easily from here. And now when we preview it, you can see that it's nicely working. But that was it. Those were three buttons done pretty easily in Frama. And here you can see them previewed in one of my Frama templates. And if you like this video, give it a like. And also feel free to subscribe my channel and take a look at my other videos. See you in the next video.